how you guys doing my name is Eli and in today's video we're going to make uh, loading skeletons similar to what YouTube does when when you load up first load up their page um, I feel that this keeps the user engaged and um, I think it's much cleaner than the regular loading screens uh, whether it be a spinning loader or, or something similar to that um, but this is what the application will look like so you see how we have this animated skeleton of all of our content and once everything loads or once our uh, API returns our uh, our JSON data um, it, it populates into where that skeleton was um, so I've created a a quick API and um, I send I set a timeout function for about five seconds so it'll take five seconds to load up this uh, the profiles for this page that's where we'll animate our loading and show that it's animating all right so let's get started so just go to your, go to your product project directory sorry and uh, let's create a react app so npx create react app and we'll name this uh, loading skeleton all right okay we're back so um, go ahead and uh, CD into the newly created project and um, I'm going to type code with a period at the end and that will open it up in VS code if you have that installed all right and while we're here we're just going to add a couple dependencies so we're going to be using styled components and uh, we're going to be using axios okay that's done and um, we can go ahead and yarn start or you can if you're using npm just go ahead and uh, do npm start perfect okay so let's expand this a little okay all right so we're going to get rid of a couple files before we get started so we don't need our tests um, because we're not going to production this is just a quick little test app we don't need our service worker don't need that logo um, don't need index.css don't need this don't need this alright let's get rid of our service worker let's get rid of our CSS So our app.js, we don't need this. Matter of fact, we'll just delete all of this. All right, so let's go ahead and type test, make sure we're working. All right, perfect. All right, so we're going to add a couple files, folders. So I'll just go ahead and create a components folder. Okay. And then we're going to add a profiles folder. And then add a file in profiles folder. And then we're also going to add our individual profile. Okay. All right. And all of these. close out index.js all right so all right we're going to import our profiles from we're going to go into our components folder and go to profiles and profiles
All right, so in our profiles folder, we're going to want to load in all of our JSON data with all of our profiles that I set up for you guys. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to import Axios. All right, and then we're also going to be using use effect and we're going to be using use state. So use state. So we want to create a loading state and we want to create a state for our um, our profiles. Um, so use state, all right. And then we'll set loading uh, is loading. And then we'll set as loading to true. So as soon as we get to the page, we want to start our loading process. All right, and then um, we need our profile, so use state again. Profiles. Okay. And our profiles will come in as uh, a JavaScript object. So, all right. So we'll, we'll have the default as an object or the initial state. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and add our use effect so that every time the page loads, we're going to want to load this data just in case this data was to change. All right, so we don't need this return. Don't need input. Okay, first thing we want to do if loading is not set to true, oh, we have a typo here. Sets is loading. Okay, so we're going to set is loading to true even though it is true already uh, we just want to make sure we we do that um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, fetch this data asynchronously so all right and we'll make this asynchronous have it as an arrow function oops And then inside of that, we're going to have a try catch block. All right. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to re we're going to destructure our data. I'm going to go ahead and wait. Axios get. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. I'm going to add these this these links to the um, description so you can just go there and copy and paste from there and then let's just go and log out our data let's see let's go to inspect let's give it a second because remember it oh we didn't call fetch data Perfect. We're going to set our profiles to data default. Okay. We're going to set is loading to false because now that we've loaded our data, we want the loading animation to go away and show our data. So false. All right. Just going to console that log the error. Okay, perfect. All right. All right, we're loading, loading. We have our data. Let's go to components, go to profiles, and we see here in our state, we have our profiles. It's an array of them. So we actually, what we can do, um, let's just set that to an array. All right, so what we want to do is we want to show, we want our profiles uh, component to render. We either want it to either render the loading um, skeletons or we want it to render the uh, the actual profiles. So um, 
one of the ways to do it is you just do a regular if statement if is loading so if our data is loading we'll return this I mean, it isn't working right now. Loading. Perfect. All right, perfect. Okay, all right, so now we have our data loaded. Um, let's go ahead and map some of this out. So, look at our profiles. Oh, I also cannot type today. Profiles. Uh, so, our state is our profiles, dot profiles, and we're going to map through all of these. We're going to call each individual profile. And we're going to return. We'll just say uh, H1 with each individual profile name. I believe you have a name, let's see. Yeah, a name. So loading. And it pops in. All right, perfect. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pass this data to our individual profile and that let that render out each, uh, each profile. the same folder and profile and we're going to make the key profile dot ID and uh, we're going to set our data to profile we can set as profile okay all right, so we're going to destructure that profile. Let's make sure it's still rendering it out. Perfect. All right, so let's get a little bit of styling going on and, and let's uh, start working on our loading skeleton. So for our loading skeleton, let's go ahead and import styled from styles components. All right, perfect. And then skeleton pulse. That's where we're going to name our style div. Set our display to inline block. We want it to be the width to be a hundred percent. Our height to be a hundred. Background to be linear gradient. All right. So for this linear gradient background. What we're going to do is basically, if we go back to our loading state, you see how there's a darker gray and a lighter gray. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a lighter gray. And then in the middle at 50%, we'll have a darker gray and then back to the lighter gray at the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to animate the background and basically have it move to the right and keep doing that infinitely. Um, and that'll give the effect of that dark moving across, if you can see. So let's go back and we're going to set our linear gradient, negative 90 degrees. All right. And the first color we're going to use is like a lighter gray. So F0, F0, F0. And we're going to set that at the beginning, it's 0%. The color we will have in the middle is um, a little darker gray, so F8, and then we're going to set that to 50%, and then the last color, which be the, would be the first color, would be the F0 again, and we're going to set that to 100%, that would be at the end. All right. So um, for us to be able to animate that and go across, we need to set our uh, background size um, 
to much larger than 100%. So we'll just set it to, I'm gonna set it to 400%. All right, and then let's set up our animation. So, keyframes, we're gonna call this animation pulse. And that, um, let's go ahead and um, add the animation or trigger it, I would say, pulse. Uh, we're gonna have this last 1.2 seconds. Ease in. And we're gonna do it infinitely. Oh, okay. So zero percent. So at the beginning of our animation, we want our background position to be zero zero. So and on our background position, the first um, percentage is our horizontal and the second is our vertical we won't be touching the vertical of course okay and then at 100 percent we're going to set our background position to 140 percent and zero percent vertical all right perfect Okay, and we'll call this skeleton. All right, perfect. All right. Okay, so we're at our profile component. What we're gonna do is we're going to um, add this uh, skeleton loading um, to these titles. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use style components for this as well. So import styled from styled components. All right. And then let's, I guess we'll do the name. So let's make a name uh, styled dot div. Okay, what we're gonna do is we'll just set the width to 300 pixels. And we'll set the height to 50 pixels. All right. We'll create this as a fragment, just for now. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it should look the same actually. All right, so let's import our skeleton. All right, and we're going back a folder into loading skeleton. Okay, okay, so we're gonna add our skeleton in. Let's see how that looks. Oh, we did not export skeleton. We'll just export it here. All right. All right, so you see how we have this big square and it's go ahead and animating. Um, so we got it looking right. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's moving across. All right. So let's go ahead and add some some styling to this. Make it look a little better. All right. So I guess we'll add styling to our profile first. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste some styles in. Um, you guys can pause the video and uh, and bring them into your project. Alright, so we created a container, this text wrapper we do not need. Alright, and then what we're going to do is 
just gonna add our container in. Let's go ahead and create that or add that image container in. All right, and then we'll just have a skeleton for the image container. All right, and then we need our text wrapper. Oh, we'll just have a div for that. We're not having, adding any styling to it. We have our name. We create a username and an email as well. Our email. See how this is looking. Alright, so what we're going to do, we have it roughly the way we want. Um, inside of our profiles, uh, what we want to do is, and our is loading, we want to actually use this profile. So, let's see, I'll just keep this div for now. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, um, we're gonna add a loading prop to it, telling our telling our profile to either render a loading or to render our our text or our JSON data. So we're gonna set this to true. Let's see, all right. So we have one for now, and then our loading skeleton or our loading. We don't need this skeleton for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to destructure our, our loading if, if statement loading if our loading equals true if loading is true we're going to return that skeleton or this is a skeleton that we made. And then after our loading, we're then going to um, we're going to load our profile. So we'll do profile dot name. We just copy and paste this. Go a little quicker. Profile dot user username and then profile dot email. All right. And also, we created an image, a styled image, so. Oh. All right. We're going to set the source data dot picture. Oh. Profile dot pictures. So we're loading, we're loading. And there, there goes our data. Perfect. All right, so let's add a little more styling to it, make it look a little better. Um, so what I want to do actually is, I want to add a border radius to. Uh, want to add a border radius to all of our loading. Um, I guess we call it bricks, I guess, or skeletons. Sorry. <laughs> and um, the way we'll do that is we'll pass a prop down inside of our skeletons all right so we'll set a border radius um, border radius equals 25 i'll copy and paste that and then for each of those we'll set our border radius to 20. And what we have to do is we have to go back into our loading skeleton and we have to pass in our props and we have to pass those props down to our skeleton or the, the uh, style div. So let's go ahead and we're going to use our spread operator and pass these props in to where we can use them instead of our style div. Um, and then We'll set the border radius props, and that'll be an arrow function. The border radius. 
So if we have a border radius um, inside of our props, it'll use that. If not, it'll just set um, it'll just set our border radius to zero pixels, so it'll be square. Um, you can set it to a different default if you'd like, but um, this is how we're going to do it for this. All right, so I found the typo. What we forgot to do is we forgot to add pixel at the end of our border radius. There we go. All right. And uh, now that we have the styling for the actual skeleton that we want, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to render, I believe we have 10 items. We want to render 10 of these skeletons. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to our profiles. We're going to uh, set a blank array called loading profile, sorry. And then we are going to actually set a for loop. And um, let's say let i equals zero. I greater and then and we only oops we only wanted to do it uh 10 of them so we'll have uh have it to be less than 10 and then i plus plus all right and we're just going to push into our array We're going to set our loading to true. We have to give it a key as well. We'll pass in I for that. Perfect. And what we want to do is we just want to render our loading profiles. Perfect. Let it continue loading. That should pop right in. All right, so what we're going to want to do is I have a couple more styles to add. So we just have a container and we want a, a header title that's title that says profiles. I'm just going to copy and paste these in. So first, let's import styled from styles components. Profiles container, so we're going to go ahead and call all right. Go on a header title, set that to profiles, and we'll just copy and paste this. Perfect. All right. So it looks like we are all done here. So um, I would suggest you guys use this inside of other applications. Um, really what you need most is your loading skeleton. Um, this is the CSS for that. I highly suggest using styles components um, so that you can go ahead and pass these props for your border radius. Um, it doesn't just have to be border radius. You can, I guess, send the color as well. Say that you had a dark background. Um, there's a couple things you can do with the props, but uh, this loading skeleton, it looks much better than one of the spinner, spinner loaders, in my opinion. Um, so uh, I guess we're all done here. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Um, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Have a good one.